It needs more strawberries. You're in, duh. Just put more strawberries in it. It's too muted. It's not enough flavor. It's not enough flavor. We're gonna ride, 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 ride till we fall. They say we got no, 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 no future. Sisters, I am Bianca. I'm Darshana. And we are here today with something we have never tried before on this channel. No. Mm -mm. Never, ever, ever, ever. Never, ever, ever have I ever, ever, ever. Those ever are tried our this. dogs. Yeah. The noise over there. They're in a room. They don't like it. They are very upset. Yeah. So uh, if you guys do not know who we are, we are two very opinionated vegan sisters and we love to eat. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and do that right now. Make sure you hit the notification button so you'll know when we have new videos. We try to do them on Thursdays. Yes, sometimes Fridays. Sometimes, sometimes we don't do them. <laughs> I put this really dark lipstick on and I look like Casper the Cat. Yeah, because your, your eyes are orange and your lipstick's dark. It doesn't match. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> yeah. So we are trying something we have never tried before. Um, not it, cheese. And, and. It's not cheese. And it's a face off. This versus that. So today at Toll Foods, I was walking around and I saw these. It's a Kite Hill versus, uh, I don't know. Califia. 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 It's a Kite Hill versus Califia smackdown of the probiotic yogurt. Ooh, yes. That's, you can't see that. You can't see that either. Look, we can't do it. We're retarded. It is a smackdown of the Califia Farms and the Kite Hill probiotic drinks. This flavor is summer berry, okay. which I'm pretty sure is strawberry. So this one's strawberry. That's summer berry. It has other stuff. This one is Califa, Califia is changing the game with our fermented plant-based beverage with 10 billion live active probiotic CFUs inside. Get ready to feel good from the inside out. Now, I'm not a big fan of this brand for anything else. Everything else I've tried from them has been horrible. Mm -hmm. Weird aftertaste. So bad. Yeah. Let and me I you. wanted to like it because the, pa the packaging is really cute. Yeah. So there's three servings in here. They are 150 calories each, seven grams of fat, 19 carbs, and three proteins. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel like I feel good from the inside out. I haven't worried about gut health or my like flora since going vegan. So I'm not really sure what the purpose is, but I'm down to try it and maybe I can feel better. And I know a lot of people need it because they don't have good digestive systems, but if you're truly vegan, you're good yeah like your system is digesting all the what's time. in this guy this has stuff inside of it not like the ingredient list but like tell us about like the packaging and whatnot because i saw that ingredient list and it was long it's got live active cultures and milk and some stuff in there but you know no. almond, almond milk oh. you know not regular milk I, I just why do i have to say you know we're vegan it's not going to be regular milk okay it's scary um, it cheese at kite hill we make traditionally traditionally cultured almond milk packaged uh, with probiotic goodness. Now, Kite Hill is really good. I love Kite Hill. I love their products. I love so, their yogurt. So I'm really high hoping for Kite Hill. Yeah. Also for Khalifi or Khalifa. Let's give it a shake. Because you got to shake it. Chick it. Shake it. Don't break it. Took your mom and I must to make it. Bend over and spread them, girl. Oh, I'm not going to sing the rest of that song. Yeah, Boo. You already went once. Well, I'll just do part of that one. All right. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I bet you there's a safety seal. I have a safety seal. I don't. Oh, okay. But it had a safety seal when you opened the package. So that safety, I guess. Ooh. Oh, it smells like, it smells like quick. kefir. When mom would buy oh. me kefir. This one has more of a berry smell. I think it's because of like the, the raspberries and the blackberries that this are in it. This one I can already tell is more, is, is more liquid than that one. That one looks much thicker, like yeah. actual yogurt. They smell. Our mom was very health food conscious, not vegan, but health food conscious when we were little. And so we would always get this stuff called kefir, which is like a probiotic yogurt supplement. And it was like a treat, we thought. But we, now I know what she was doing was making sure we were having gut health. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so this is what it was. Which one do you want to try first? The one that I think I'm not going to like. Okay. So I am still moving into my new place, and my cups are still in the car. So I brought out my 
festive Starbucks mugs. I collect these either from places my friends travel or where I travel. This came from my friend Melissa Crow. She lives in Seattle. She's amazing. And this one was from my sister who went to San Francisco on vacation. And she also is amazing. Yes, our sister Jordan. Fill, fill her up, girl. Very liquidy. It's very, very runny. Smells like strawberry. Really good. Smells like strawberry, doesn't taste like it. That's so weird. Yeah. Strawberry is like a hard flavor to incorporate into stuff. It's not bad like the rest of their products. It has no funky aftertaste. It's thick, but really but good. It's thick but runny, which is very weird. It's good, but I can't place the flavor. Like, what does this taste like? I couldn't tell you. It tastes like watered down no. milk. Yeah. Not watered down. You know what water, like when something's watered down, it tastes like a lot of water. No, when it's watered down, like if you add too much water to something that you're trying to mix up and it tastes like they kind of took away from the flavor. Because it's not, it's not what I would expect from a probiotic like yogurt drink. Mm -hmm. I would expect it to be a little bit thicker. It's not bad tasting. It's just not what I expected. I mean, it's just it's just a little bit more, and I'm not, maybe not water is what I'm looking for, but it's more liquidy than what I expected it to be. So I think that dilutes the flavor. Like mm -hmm. if they had kept it a little thicker, it would have had a little bit stronger. It needs more strawberries. You're in, duh. Just put more strawberries in it. It's too muted. It's not enough flavor. It's not enough flavor. It, it will probably appeal to someone who wants to use it as like a probiotic you know but, but if, like if you're taking a shot of it like i don't get yeah, the point i don't, yeah, point. I don't understand so we're gonna go rinse our cups out we'll be back to try the other one did you all hear darshana fart off camera that was the pro that was the probiotic ex <laughs> ex ex exiting bianca's body it worked it was really good yeah mm -hmm. well, all right so we rinse these out i'm gonna shake this one shake them out Fireball. Fireball! This one's much thicker, you could tell. I probably should have poured it closer to the camera. Pour some more in here. Ooh, that was it looks too much. like Pepto Bismol. It does look like Pepto Bismol. But it doesn't smell like Pepto Bismol. It's got a nice fruity, like berry flavor. It's much stronger, but it's much stronger smelling, but that's probably because it has more than one kind of berry in there. Mm -hmm. Strawberries is just a very watery fruit, so it's like hard to. So this one has almond milk, cane sugar, raspberry puree, strawberry puree, blackberry puree, and fruit and vegetable juice. So they have a lot more flavors in there, mm -hmm. which is probably why it smells stronger. And it's got a d much darker flavor. The other one yeah. has like milk. Let's try it. That is a very thick. It is very bad. And very tart. Oh my god, this is not good. It's, um, what's the sugar content like? <laughs> Do they put any sugar 12 in 12 grams of sugar. But, but is it all fruit sugar or is it added sugar? It doesn't sugar? specify. That's not good. I don't want to take another sip. That's bad. It's bad. This doesn't taste good, Kite Hill. Mm -mm. How did it's you mess this up so bad? and tart. Did you put, like, lemons in here? And grainy? And it's like the bottom of a protein shake. That's not, oh, yeah. it's not good, guy. I don't like it. I'm gonna try a second sip just to make sure I hated it as much as I thought I did. Ugh. Ugh. It tastes like sour milk. Mm hmm It smells so much better than it tastes. Okay. This is six thumbs down. My two thumbs, Bianca's two thumbs, and the ghost. Califia's two thumbs. Two thumbs. <laughs> Califia, this was the winner for me. Yeah, for but I feel like by default. Yeah, it wasn't good. It was just, it tasted better than this other one. It didn't taste bad. But this, this one. This one would be for like healthy vegans that like to eat crap that makes them feel like they're cool. Or if you want to punish your children 
You can give them a this. Tell them it's nothing quick. And because my dad says there's children starving in Africa. Well, now that you said dad said that, I can't get it. Oof. Oh. I have my dad right here in my necklace in this little tiny urn. Oh, dad, urn. this is bad, dad. This is bad. Isn't that cute? And this little piece right here, I don't know if it's facing forward or not, but it says, I still need you close to me. And then there's another little charm. So I got this on Etsy if anyone's interested. I'll link where I got it below. I didn't get sponsored or anything. I just am trying to share a very cute urn with you guys. Yeah. I don't like either of them. I give the Califia one one thumb up. I give it half a thumb up. And I give the other one my two thumbs, your two thumbs, and Darshana's two thumbs down. It was grainy. It was thick. It's it gritty on my tongue. It was gritty. It was too tart. It did not taste like what and it, it smelled like. It didn't taste good. When you drink something that's main ingredients are fruit, fruit, and fruit, what do you think it's going to taste like? Fruit? I mean, it tasted like fruit, but like old fruit that had a couple like moldy berries in the basket. Or like you picked the berries off season and decided to use that kind of berry. Like have you ever bit into a really tart blackberry? Are there frozen berries? And you didn't puree them very well because they were very gritty. Well, that's the blackberries are going to be gritty anyway. But the thing but is... if you put them through a mesh strainer, all that grittiness should come first out. First of all, I don't know why you put blackberries in there anyway. But, you know, you could have mixed that with anything else. I watched Jumbo's Baking Challenge on Netflix and you should too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't buy this. Are you frozen? Do you have a bad connection? <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.